sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Sean Zatel, the boxing voice here with the man who's a strength and conditioning coach, one of the best fighters in boxing, the unified light heavyweight champion, Sergey Kovalev. Coach Kwan, what's going on, Coach Kwan? What's up, man, we here. What's up, Vegas? How's everybody doing? You know, we're, we're just about an hour or two away um, from Sergey. He's a big favorite tonight. How was camp? Um, camp was uh, very interesting. I mean, you know, we, we worked real hard. This is a real personal fight, you know, because of the situation with Abel and other guys in that camp. And uh, so we went real extreme. You know, uh, Sergey was going to put a hurting on him, and uh, we're going to go home victorious. I know, uh, I, I know Sergey, he's been real polite about when people ask him about Abel. But was that a little bit of a bad falling out from what you know? You know, I'm not going to ask for details, but... Yeah, it was, you know, but Sergey is way past that now. You know, I think uh, Abel took him to 7-0, and and after that, it was a situation, didn't work out. Sergey went his way. That's why when you ask Sergey about it, he's always like, Abel who? You know, because at the end of the day, Abel can't throw punches for his fighter. You know, uh, he's going to have to get in the ring and deal with a very mean Russian. You know, so um, we don't focus on that. We keep it positive in our camp. We push forward. Yeah, it was tension, but um, we use that tension to uh, work out in our benefit to produce a great camp. You know, Abel's a great trainer, but so is John. Is it is it possible, in your opinion, that Sergey's better off with John David Jackson? It suits him better as a fighter than with Abel Sanchez. I believe so. You know, that's a, that's that's something a uh, question uh, Sergey would have to answer. But I would say the, the 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 remedy that we have for the type of fighter that we have, John is a great fit for Sergey. You know, um, didn't work out with Abel. He got with a great champion who's a former boxer himself. Abel wasn't a fighter. You know, and so for him to go to John and actually learn from a guy that was in the ring, you know, that speaks volumes for Sergey. And you know, he respects John. He respects us for our, our craft and what we do. And you know, we have a great team. And, you know, I asked you uh, before we got on camera, is, is, this, is this tough for Sergey to stay motivated only because he, he's coming off fighting a legend and then a former under, uh, uni universally recognized champion in Pascal and Hopkins. So it's a little bit of a step down in Mohamedy, who's still a good fighter. We don't pass any. We don't look past anybody. You know, um, every fighter. Packs a punch, you got to move away, you got to handle your business. Sergey's going to go in there and treat this fight like any other fight. He's going to go in there and crush the guy. You know, um, yeah, his history isn't decorated like other fighters, right. but he earned the right to have a mandatory challenge. He got his, his challenge, and he's going to definitely get his defeat. <laughs> That's how we see it, baby. Now, you know, Sergey, uh, when, when, he, when he did the stare down with Mohamedy, Mohamedy, of course, is a natural light heavy, but Sergey still looks so much bigger than him. He's a big guy at once 175 pounds. Is it tough for him to make 175 pounds? No. Good diet, good weight. He has great cardio discipline. Um, we, have, we run a very disciplined, structured uh, camp for him up in Big Bear. So it, it's not hard for him. He gets a little frustrated by it, but... He's a professional, and this is business. He has to make weight. He has to show that he's a true champion. You know, it, it, it pisses us off when we see guys who don't make weight and throw off the fight. That's not cool. It's been happening a lot. A lot. I know. That is really not cool. So, you know, Sergey is a professional. We're going to go in there and, and do what we have to do. You know, and um, Sergey's going to pull out the victory. You know, I asked Sergey this, too, and he wasn't having it. He's like, I'm... What's up, Jim? <laughs> Jim Lampley. Jim Lampley. <laughs> so, you know, I, I asked Sergey this yesterday, and he, he's so focused on 175, he really wasn't having it. But I, I ask you, when it's time, if it ever is, time to move up to Cruiser, is that going to be a smooth transition, you think, because he is a big light heavy? He doesn't want to. He wants to reign a light heavyweight. Right. You know, he didn't want to go to Cruiser because he felt like the men would be much bigger, much, much, much bigger. And so he wants to reign a light heavy, and anybody that wants it, you know, can come and get it. The two big fights that everybody wants to see come get it are Adonis Stevenson and Andre Ward. Uh, let, let's start with Stevenson. Uh, can the, are the fans in, in from Europe, from where you're sitting, do you think we ever get this fight? It's possible. You know, in boxing, anything is possible. You know, and, and now he kind of represents himself. You know, he has a different deal. He's out of the situation he was in. The war fight could happen. But I, I think war coming we're going, is going to have to come up and wait. I don't think we should drop. You know, we're the champ. He's a champ. It'll be a fight for the... Oh, it'd be a great fight. You know, Adonis Stevenson, um, we want that fight. And Adonis, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of this and a lot of that, you know, we won't speculate, but, you know, we Sergey wants all of the belts. You know, he wants to be the unified champion, you know, and time keeps ticking and Adonis keeps getting older. We keep knocking people out. He keep fighting Rudy Poops. But we keep fighting stand-up guys. And so 
he really wants that fight. He wants all the belts. He treats the belts like his little kids, and he's not going to let them go. He's just not going to let them go. We're going to reign for a very long time. If that fight happens, uh, obviously you're going to go with your man, Kovalev. You think he takes out Stevenson. But Stevenson has a lot of talent himself, big puncher, lots of speed. How does that fight go, and why does Sergey beat Stevenson? I think Sergey beats Stevenson being a better boxer and also a powerful puncher. Stevenson hasn't fought anybody with the power that Sergey possesses. Yes, it will be a fight on both good and bad, good and ugly, who does this great, who doesn't. So styles make fights. I don't think Adonis has faced a guy like my guy. So I think that plays into our factor. You know, I'm plays into us, and I think we go in, and I think we win it either by a knockout or, or a stoppage, or it can go to 12 rounds. We love that. We just beat him down for 12 rounds because Sergey, I think, wants to punish him for 12 rounds. And that'd be, that'd be a great fight, too. Some punchers, they gas out after the first half, but we saw Sergey go 12 with no problems against Hopkins. How's he able to do that while he's throwing such hard shots for all 12 rounds? Cardio, resilience, discipline, um, a great strength and conditioning coach. <laughs> um, but no, I think that Sergey does it. Uh, he's a very disciplined fighter. You know, camp is fun for us, but it's very much hard work, and I push him to the end. You know, and uh, we have a good remedy, and I just kind of cater to what he needs for me to do for him. But he, he goes, he, he wants this spot. He's going to do everything to keep his spot. Believe me. And, you know, we talked Stevenson, now Ward. Ward is, he's, he's almost like a, the Mayweather, the, uh, the higher weight classes in terms of how people pick him. No one picks against him. Even Sergey, it seems like, would be an underdog against Ward. Is that fair or, or not? Or is it a toss-up fight? Is that how it should be viewed? I think it's a toss-up fight because it's at Sergey's weight. Right. It's not at Ward's weight. So Ward is dealing with a bigger guy, heavier guy. And he did that with Chad, but Chad is... Totally different from Sergey Kovalev. Right. Totally different. So I think I think it's a 50-50 fight, you know. But I'm still going to go with my guy because Ward hasn't been hit yet neither. Right. You know. I mean, he just he just possesses a very crazy, powerful punch. He's a very naturally powerful guy. When he lays it on you, it comes, and you can't take it all night. He's, he's got such a good punch. Kovalev does that. Sometimes it's all people look at. But does he have underrated skills? Underrated athleticism? And is that, is that why also he stands a great chance against Andre Ward? I think so. I think he has the body of a Tommy Hearns, the mentality of a Marvin Hagler. I think he has the power, you know, of a lot of, a lot of great boxers in this game, you know, because he, can, he, can, he possesses great power off uh, being, you know, off balance, which you can't even teach that. So, you know, and he hits you, you're going to feel it. So I, I think it's a toss-up fight. I'm still going to go with my guy. You know, I believe he beats him or knocks him out. I really believe he can knock out Andre Ward if he catches him with a flush punch. I mean, he has an 89 point knockout, point knockout percentage. So with that being said, anybody gets in the way of that is going down. Last question, Coach Kwan. Thanks a lot for your time, man. Andre Ward, Adonis, do you think they, find, they actually come to the table in 2016 by this time next year or by the end of 2016? Do you think we finally see Sergey in with one of those guys? I hope so. I really do hope so. I think uh, one of those guys step up and let's get it done. You know, Adonis, you know, we'll see if he wants to come over to HBO. Ward is already on HBO, so it might be an easier fight to make, you know, and that's a fight that a lot of boxing fans wants, want to see, you know, and I think, I think the training preparation for that, I might start preparing tomorrow. <laughs> man, we're all dying for those fights, man, so I'm with you. Thanks for your time, Coach Kwan.